G'day, my name's Dada Hovey. I'm Principal of Catholic College Wodonga. I've been here for seven years. Previous to that, I've been an educational leader in Catholic primary and secondary schools. The move up here has been a very exciting one for me and one which I continue to enjoy every day. Catholic College Wodonga is an exciting space. We're an innovative space and not just with our teaching teams but across all our teams. We're really fortunate in 2018 and 19 to be recognised by Cambridge University as being one of 100 most innovative schools world, worldwide. That continues to be a challenge for us because we want to keep pushing the boundaries to figure out what are the best ways to educate and support students in our region. We are all educators, no matter what role you have in our school. It's not just the teachers or the learning diversity staff or the first person that greets a student in the morning from front desk. And it's really important that we continue to explore how best to professionally learn as a community because the results we'll get for our students will be far greater if we all pull together and work as a team. For a family, the learning mentor is critical. This person is your first point of contact. This contact is important because the learning mentor will be with you for the six year journey. Students are grouped vertically so that in the mornings when they present to school, they're with their learning mentor group. Each learning mentor group has two teachers. And importantly, we get to meet those students every day. I'm a learning mentor myself and it's one of the great features of our school. These are vertically grouped, so we have students from year seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12 starting their day together for 15 minutes. As the, year, as the week progresses, we actually have them for 72 minutes every Wednesday. That allows us to have learning conversations and go further into how they're coping with school, how are the pressures of work coming for them, and then how are they engaging to allow their passions to come to the fore. Catholic College Wodonga offers traditional pathways such as a VCE. We are now moving heavily into VETS and VCAL. We have our Horizon Pathway, a pathway for students that is independent, off timetable, and allows them for six months to explore their learning to be the best they can be. This is a passion pathway. Students have the opportunity to explore a passion. This is done with students from year eight to year 11. We also have moved uh, this year to having a vertical pathway. So students from year nine have a much larger selection range available to them. They can specialise in their passions earlier, still doing core subjects, but allowing them to go deeper into the things they're most interested. So for example, if they're an art student, they can explore more art-based subjects. If they're a student that likes practical subjects, they can explore more practically based subjects, such as technology and moving deeper into their passions. At Catholic College Wodonga, we have a large number of VET subjects on offer from things such as animation and gaming through to building, construction, engineering, sports coaching, hairdressing. This allows over 230 students across years 10, 11 and 12 to follow their passions and go for courses that allow them to have certificates that potentially lead them to a pathway to university or to employment. Over the past two years, we've been able to forge a new pathway in our school with the help of Richmond Football Club and the Richmond Institute of Sport Leadership. Swinburne University, in conjunction with the Richmond Sports Institute, offer a 13th year at Catholic College. These students are experiencing a VET-based subject that allows them to get further credits to move into fields that they would like to engage in. Over the past three years, we've explored literacy in a secondary school. We've brought back a reading program where students are engaged in reading every period for the first 10 minutes. This is critical because by the time our students are moving through the senior school, literacy is at the heart of the work that they do, whether it's a VCE based exam or it's understanding and drafting reports for technology based subjects. Over the past five years, we've explored a very strong coaching and feedback program. Our coaching and feedback program is based in the information our students give us about how we are teaching. Importantly, we then use that as a coaching model where one person, one leader in our school will coach up to three to four teachers in our community. This allows us to professionally grow and importantly, it allows us to actually focus on what are the professional needs for us as a community, rather than just picking ideas off a shelf that are presented to us from other professional providers. In 2020, we moved to a student services model. This model is based around best practice. So if it's a careers based conversation, you've got more than just one person in that team supporting the student. If it's a pastoral concern, we could also have a psychologist involved. If it's learning diversity and a literacy based problem, we would have a speech therapist involved. We're very lucky to further into this group have specialists such as youth workers and social workers who continue to build a story for us that allows each student to find their pathway to success.
Catholic College has now been around for 40 years and over that time it's seen a number of developments. Right here, right now, we're in our new science space that's been operating for over a year. These are cutting edge facilities that allow students to explore their passions and engage in learning. Just as importantly, teachers get the opportunity to work in spaces that really allow them to explore their skills and allow us to engage students at great levels. Last year, we celebrated our 40th year anniversary. This was a great opportunity to see our faith story over an extended period of time. It showed me that we are not only just a faith community, but a community that lives the story of Jesus through who we are and what we do. Our first school leader, Julie Dugdale, not only forged a path in an area where many wouldn't, she forged a path that allowed her to have an impact internationally. She fought for women's rights and created change in Scotland and later in Australia and allowed us to tell a story about a young female who worked and worked for the rights of women way before the Me Too movement, but it showed our ministry, it showed our belief in who we are to see an injustice and then work to make a solution. Having been a Catholic educator across a number of dioceses and worked in communities where there's more than one Catholic school in a town, I understand the importance of all the four schools working closely together. Fortunately, Catholic College Wodonga, St Francis, St Monica's and St Augustine's are very tight. The principals work closely together and importantly, this allows us to create the F to 12 faith journey for our students. You might choose to engage in one of my learning walks. You might choose to come to one of our information evenings. Either way, I really look forward to meeting you soon and I look forward to showing you who we are at Catholic College Wodonga.